question follows. Matthew 24, 24, And there shall rise false prophets, and uh, false Christ, and false prophets, and will show great signs and wonders. How shall we recognize them? There shall rise... That, now you're coming on down into another age, see? Re false Christ and false prophets. A false Christ is a false anointed because Christ is the anointed. How many knows that the Christ means the anointed one? There will be false anointed ones, and they'll call themselves prophets. But how will you recognize them? By the Word. That's how you know it, by the Word. Uh, where they are, right? how will we recognize them? Will be by the Word. If, they're, if they say that they have the Word and then deny the Word, then there's nothing to it. No matter what they do, they might heal the sick, they might open the eyes of the blind and deny the Word, stay away from it. They want to just stay with that Word regardless. See? Because many times I've seen voodoo and all kinds of things take place under, under healing. You may say, how can this be? Would the uh, anointed ones, what were they? Christ. C-H-R-I-S-T-S. Anointed Christ. And false prophets. Christ, anointed ones, but false prophets. Jesus said, uh, that uh, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Now, someone might say to me, uh, do you believe that that anointing on those people means that it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. The genuine Holy Spirit of God upon a person, and yet they are false. Now, listen close and see what he said. They shall show signs and wonders insomuch that it would deceive the very elected, if it were possible. And they are anointed with the genuine Holy Spirit. I know this sounds very foolish, but we're going to... Take time and explain it by the word that's absolutely thus saith the Lord, the truth. Salve Jesus. Now, I get we are supposed to eat the bread, but they're going to eat special bread before they eat this. If Jesus can turn water into one, fish into his body, huh? loaves from the boy into what? Into what? Into his body. People can eat. So I'm going to give them food from above. Notice, the same anointing water brings forth the wheat, brings forth the weed. The same Holy Spirit that anoints the church. That gives them desire to save souls. Amen. That gives them power to perform miracles. It falls on the unjust, the same as the just. The very same spirit. Now you can't make it another way and understand Matthew 24, 24. Okay, I see food outside. Look at that. Look at that food. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay, go and eat. Go and eat. Go eat outside. Go, quickly. Eat quickly. Today, no time. No time. You eat quickly. Limited time today.
And in there is where too many of Christians only stop. And they can, just like the corn in the field, the weed in the field, they can be anointed with the same Holy Spirit that the real believers are anointed with. But down on the inside of that next rim, the third rim, is the soul. And that's predestinated by God. There's where the real seed germ lays, is in there. And remember, if I take a cockleburr and cut it open, draft into it the heart of a, of a wheat, and put it there, bury it, it would bring forth a wheat out of the cockleburr. No matter what the outside is, what the emotion, today so confused about the evidence of the Holy Ghost and so forth, Satan can impersonate any kind of a gift that God's got. Amen. But he cannot bring that word, word by word. That's where he failed in the Garden of Eden. That's where he's always failed. That's where them, the tape on false anointed ones or anointed ones, they can be anointed with the Spirit, speak in tongues, dance, shout, preach the gospel, and still a devil. Jesus is putting a pull on the show. If you are a pull on the air, Piaco, then you are in your back. How many you say I have a lot of? Jesus. Jesus. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? David said, if I can see iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. See? Iniquity is something that you know that you ought to do and you won't do it. You know better but won't do it. It's iniquity. See? You know that you should stay with the Word of God, but for the church's sake or somebody else's sake or something else, you'll stray from the Word of God and do what the organization says. Well, I don't know. My church says we should do it this way and I believe it this way. And you strike before you that you shouldn't do it. That's iniquity. Depart from you, you that work iniquity. <laughs>